Okay, so a friend of mine sent me this diagram and he is asking to estimate stonework for the given retaining wall. This section is for a retaining wall having length equals 583 meters. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to solve for it. All right, and in the solution, remember the cross sectional area times its length can be, of course, the stonework or the volume of this retaining wall. That's so simple, okay? So as you can see, the length of the retaining wall is given. The only thing we need to do is to calculate the cross-sectional area of this retaining wall. And we can't do it, of course, okay, just by providing a one formula. I mean, we can split the diagram into simple geometric shapes, okay, in order to calculate its total cross-sectional area. And I'm gonna do it by drawing a, you can say two vertical lines, okay, just like that, okay you can focus on the section of the retaining wall okay so i'm just gonna draw two vertical lines to get these five geometric shapes okay so now i can calculate the area of each and then we're gonna add them together to get the total cross sectional area of this retaining wall all right so what i'm gonna do next is to calculate area of shape one and that is of course two meters times 0.8 meters because this is just a rectangle okay just a simple rectangle all right and it is 1.6 square meter and then of course shape 2 is also a vertical rectangle so it is going to be 0.2 meters times 1.5 meters and it is of course 0.3 square meters all right shape 3 is also a vertical rectangle so its base times its depth can be of course its area like 0.6 meter which is its base times 3 meters which is of course 1.5 plus 1.5 okay and it is total of course 3 meters so we can get 0.6 meters times 3 meters and that is of course 1.8 square meter and then figure 4 that is of course a right angle triangle okay so its area can be one half times its base times its depth okay or you can say its depth times its base no problem okay like one half times its depth and it's of course three meters because it is 1.5 plus 1.5 okay just the same thing is we did for shape three all right now times its base the base can be of course two meters minus 0.6 meter which is the base of shape three minus 0.2 meters which is the base of shape two and minus 2 times 0 0.15 meters per uh, one side and in the other side steps okay just that and that must be 0 0.9 meters okay so we got area of figure 4 equals 1.35 square meters all right now only thing we are gonna do is to calculate area of shape 5 and that is of course a rectangle so 0 0.6 meters times 0 0.5 meters and it is going to be of course 0 0.3 square meters now the total cross-sectional area of this diagram of this retaining wall can be of course the summation of area 1 2 3 4 and area 5 and that is of course 5.35 square meters now the stonework or the volume of this retaining wall can be of course the cross-sectional area times its length and that is of course the cross-sectional area we did this guy just few seconds ago times length of the retaining wall which is 583 meters and if you multiply these both guys we can get of course the total stone work for the given retaining wall equals 3119.05 cubic meters so finally we got the answer stone work or the quantity of stone for the given retaining wall equals 3129 cubic meters that's it it was so simple okay see you in the next video